Welcome to this brief tutorial on making acrylic shapes at the Game Crafter. Today we're going to make this soldier and spy, but you can make any shape you want with acrylic shapes at the Game Crafter. Each of these will be two pieces that are friction fit together. We'll start with the acrylic shapes template from the Game Crafter. It contains all kinds of useful tips and tricks, so we'll refer back to this later as we design. As you can see, I've already got the soldier and the spy loaded. I've also drawn a rudimentary base, and I've started putting the tabs on these. The tabs are there so that we can fit the base to the model. We're going to make this out of one quarter inch acrylic. Now, like all manufactured goods, there are tolerances. So the acrylic at most will be one quarter inch thick, but it could be thinner. So we design with these tolerances in mind. You'll note if you add these two numbers together, it comes out to be exactly one quarter inch. This means we need our hole in our base to be exactly one quarter of an inch, as that is the maximum thickness of the acrylic. And we need to make sure that the maximum thickness will fit. Because we can't control the thickness of the acrylic, we need our friction to fit on the sides that we can control, the sides we're cutting. When you use a laser to cut a hole in acrylic, it will remove a small amount of the acrylic. This is called the kerf. The kerf is about the width of a human hair. It's small enough that we should be able to friction fit our pieces together without doing anything special. However, you always want to plan for the worst case scenario. So instead of using perfect rectangles on the bottom of these models, we're going to make a trapezoid. One easy way to do that is to draw two parallel lines. We'll make the top one a little bit wider than the bottom one. So since we want our hole to be half an inch, we'll make the top just slightly more than half an inch, and we'll make the bottom just slightly less than half an inch. That will ensure a nice snug fit. Now we'll just place our new trapezoidal base on the bottom of each of these models. And now we can merge the base with the model. As you can see, I've gone ahead and designed two copies of each model and all four bases. I've also put nicks in these. Nicks ensure that the plastic pieces don't fall out of the sheet, so you don't lose any of your parts. It's very important that you add nicks. You only need two nicks per model. You'll want nicks of exactly 0.005 inches. These will ensure that the models pop out easily, but won't fall out accidentally. As you can see, I've already added nicks. I'll do a quick tutorial to show you how to add them manually, but it's much easier to do this in Component Studio. We can do much more than just cut out a shape. We can actually print on these models. Let's assume this game requires directionality. So let's put some sunglasses on these guys so you can see which way they're facing. What if we add a symbol so you can see which one is which more easily? If you're printing on paper, you're already printing on white, so you don't need to worry about printing white. But when you print on color, you need to actually print down a white layer if you want to make white. I know this will seem confusing, but white should be its own image and the image should be black. Anywhere you see black, it will turn white. Now we can quickly export our SVG file and images for printing. To upload them to the Game Crafter, we'll go to Custom Game Pieces and choose Quarter Inch Acrylic. Here we can choose Colors. We can upload our cut file. We can upload our images. and we'll be able to see a live preview of what our part is gonna look like. Let's make a copy so we can make a second color. Now they're ready to order, and this is what the final result looks like. As you can see, the pieces pop right out of the plastic. They assemble quite easily. And here's the final result. They look great. You too can make your own custom acrylic shapes whether it be tokens, game pieces, tools, or accessories. Thanks for watching. Head over to thegamecrafter.com to start your game design now.